Hello and welcome, I'm Grant Abbott and you're watching Gabbett Media and today I'm launching Animation. So Animation is a challenge, it's not a competition, it's a challenge. There are prizes, hopefully all going well, uh, but it's a animation challenge over a month and the idea is that you'll try three animations per week, so not too arduous, hopefully, uh, so all can get involved, and it's to improve our animation skills. I know, for one, I need to improve my animation skills, which is why I started this challenge. So, all going well. Uh, it will start the 1st of May, and we'll have this sort of uh, challenge running, and uh, you will take part, so join the Facebook group. The link will be in the description. And can I put it up on the screen? No, I can't. It'll have to be in the description. Uh, and you'll join that group and you'll be able to post your animations in different formats. I mean, uh, it could be just a MP4 file which you upload to Facebook, or it can be something like Sketchfab where you show your animation through that. I will be posting some tutorials on these different things like how to post on Sketchfab and get your animations up, which I've never done. So hopefully that won't be too tough. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that, hopefully. Uh, so, um, hope, yes, I said some prizes, uh, I've still got to speak to the sponsors about that one, uh, but uh, hopefully there'll be some prizes, but that'll be um, if you take part uh, and you manage to complete the challenge, then your name will be put into a hat for winning prizes. That's the idea anyway, all going well. And um, I've said three animations a week, haven't I? Um, they can be simple or complicated, so um, if you're a beginner, uh, then you might be doing very simplistic animations. So let's say the topic was running, for example. A complex animation might be someone frantically running away from somebody, waving their arms, looking over their shoulder, and uh, running scared. Uh, whereas a sort of mid-level animator, like myself I would say, would do something like a run cycle. And then if you're really uh, new to it, you might just take a pair of legs and uh, do a sort of run cycle with them, or even simpler, uh, just sort of two feet on a ball and make them run, or something like that, to keep it nice and simple, just so you can get involved. It's not about uh, the complexity or the finished result, it's about taking part and learning, which is obviously, as you all know, what my channel is about. Uh, so, um, in terms of uh, what sort of model can you use, um, I'm just going to be downloading one from BlendSwap and I'll put the file in the description in this video. Um, in fact, I'll put the link in the description in this video and uh, in subsequent videos as well. Uh, and it'll be quite simple, you can just download a model. Uh, any model will do, as long as it's a decent rig. Uh, you can follow along with me and download the same model and I'll put the link, like I said, in the description. It can be your own model, of course. That might be quite fun to make your own model. Um, I do have some rigging tutorials if you want to follow those, or you could just use the Rigify rig and paste your model. Paste your model? Uh, apply your model, uh, the armature, to your model. Don't worry about that one, let's move on. Uh, so uh, don't worry about the models, you can just download them. Uh, the important thing is the animation process. Uh, I will release the categories uh, within uh, a few days, within a few days, uh, a few days before uh, May, uh, so we can, uh, so you can see those just a bit before you start. And I will be trying to put up a, tu not tutorial, a, uh, my progress. So I will try the challenge myself and I'll try and put that video up before the day is released as well. So, or maybe at the beginning of that day, depending on how I get on. Uh, so you can kind of see what I've done uh, and maybe if you want to follow on with my workflow uh, and learn from that, <laughs> if you can learn from that, uh, then you can watch my video and get some inspiration, perhaps even. Uh, I'm Like I say, I'm not the, the best at animation. This is why I've started the challenge, because I need to learn and get better. And what better way? In fact, uh, the Sculpt January challenges were great for me in terms of proving my sculpting. So I thought, why not put on a challenge for animating? And I thought, the month of May, animation, just genius, spark of genius there. Uh, anyway, uh, if you wanted to rig a character, uh, then uh, go ahead uh, and do that process and um, put that in as well. Um, but uh, I think that's all I've got to say, actually. I've got my notes in front of me, as you can see. Uh, it's all very um, free and open, my videos are, aren't they? Not very professionally based. It's going to be really professional, though, honestly. The challenge, well, the challenge will definitely happen. There will hopefully be some prizes. The main thing is taking part even if it is 
made by me in this NAF way. Uh, so like I say, have fun and uh, learning that's the main focus uh, for us in this challenge. I'm looking for a few helpers actually as well. Uh, the main thing at the moment is to join the Facebook group. If you'd like to be a helper, uh, then do contact me uh, through my YouTube channel or the Discord or even Facebook if you want uh, and uh, say, oh, I'd love to be a helper because I need some sort of admin people uh, to uh, perhaps run the Facebook group. Uh, that would be very helpful. So, um, uh, what is it? Um, Post your CV with your experience of adminning, or uh, why you would like to. Why we? Why would you like to be an admin? That would be better, wouldn't it? Uh, because then you can uh, say, convince me that you should be a good admin because you love animation in some way. Anyway, uh, enough of that. I think I've said enough uh, because I'm running out of things to say and I'm just babbling, which is what I'm good at. I'm really good at babbling. Just sign off. Thank you very much, and I will. Uh, look forward to the animation experience.